Hello everyone and welcome to Bath Garden Center. You may be wanting to make your landscapes flourish in your gardens and to do that you will want to buy the right plants for your area. So let's talk about hardiness zones and why they are important when you are planning your landscape. Hardiness zones are based on the coldest temperatures of your area, and so it's going to be based on the extreme temperatures. So when you're planning uh, your gardens and your landscapes, you will want to buy plants that are within your hardiness zone so that you know they are going to survive those super cold temperatures. So the quality of your plant is going to be based on its climate. And that's why it's very important to make sure that you're purchasing plants that are going to thrive within your area. If your plants are not getting the right amount of sun or if they're in too harsh of a climate, they might not bloom or they might not just be as healthy as they should be. And that's why hardiness zones were developed so that you know which plants are going to uh, do best where. So the U.S. Department of Agriculture has developed a hardiness zone map and it splits the United States up into 13 different sections and Colorado specifically uh, is in between zone 3 and zone 7. So to determine specifically where you are on the map, uh, you'll want to look at these areas and find your zone and there are often uh, subzones as well, especially in Colorado, because we have ever-changing climates all the time. And with these hardiness zones ranging from 1 to 13, 1 being the coldest, 13 being the warmest, uh, we along the front range fall in zone 5 and specifically Fort Collins falls in zone 5B. And you'll notice that these subzones are usually labeled 4A, 4B, 5A, 5B. And along the front range, we in Fort Collins might be 5B, but say in the foothills, you might find 5A zone ranges. So that's why it's important to pay attention to these areas because temperature differences could be uh, all over uh, depending on your elevation. You will usually find your plant's hardiness zone on its care tag and perennials uh, are really what you are paying attention to when you're looking out for hardiness zones. When you're purchasing annual plants or vegetables or some flowering plants, uh, it's more important to pay attention to their growing season um, and their maturity period rather than a hardiness zone for these guys because you're not often going to get them coming back each year. When you're choosing your plants and their hardiness zones, you can often plant things from a colder zone to a warmer zone uh, because they can survive the warmer temperatures, but not often can you do that the opposite way around. So if you're planting something from say zone five and trying to plant it in zone three, it may not survive because those harsher winter temperatures uh, may damage your plant. If you are in between zones and you're unsure where you might uh, fall, you can take some preventative measures to protect some of your plants if they are tender plants uh, in your zone. Some of these measures that you can take are like multiple some of your shrubs or even wrapping some of your tender trees in the winter to help protect them from harsh wind damage or even those cold temps. So our advice here at Bath, pay attention to your garden's climate. Your garden on the south side of town may be completely different to your friend's garden that's a few miles up north. We also recommend planting native species in your gardens because those are the things that are really going to thrive here in Colorado. Here at Bath, we make sure that we pick uh, plants that are going to be specific for the front range uh, and that are going to thrive for you in our Colorado environment. Come on down to Bath if you have any questions about the zone that you're in and we can help you determine specifically what zone you might be in. And we will help you with all your gardening needs if you have questions about what plants to buy. And uh, we thank you for shopping here at Bath. As always, have a great day. Zone, uh, actually, can we do that over or outside of, oh, I wanted to say slightly. You can take to prevent that's not what I wanted to say. Ah. Specific okay. to subzones. Sub. <laughs> subzones. Um.
Um, this keeps happening. <laughs>